What's up, Fred Count? What's going on? Max Forte today to bring you another Scent of the Day first impression video, uh, which I've been doing since last year. Basically, I get a fragrance house, uh, could be a niche, designer, indie. Today, we're, we're going to be doing an indie house, and the line's called Barista from a very prominent and up and coming uh, perfumer from Brazil, Daniel Barros. He actually has two books that he wrote. He's a journalist and he works for Fragrantica. Just, you know, a few of his accolades. Really, really nice guy. Was generous enough to send me an international package with four compositions from the Barista line for me to review and give you guys my take on it. I did a video for Daniel Barros on the line that he put together last year, about seven, eight months ago. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box if you wanna check it out. The line's called Liz Egocentriques. Now, Liz Egocentriques is basically a whole bunch of little notes that you can actually combine and uh, layer and do some blends and it comes with a chart, really cool stuff. Now this particular line, the Barista, is based on drinks. So it's gonna be a very boozy, um, you know, spicy, really sensual kind of line that I absolutely love. Again, I have four different ones that I'm gonna go through right now. I'm gonna try them on camera and I'm gonna tell you guys which one I like the best and it's basically gonna be my scent of the day. Then I'm gonna meet you guys back at my chessboard and dissect that, that fragrance and give you guys uh, how it developed and what I got out of it, so forth and so on. Let's start with the four compositions. Just so you know, the Barista line has 15 fragrances all together and I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box for that website so you can go check it out if you wanna order for yourself. You know, go ahead. There's no codes or anything like that. It's just, you know, if you guys are inclined enough to check it out and order it, feel free to do so. I'm gonna give you guys my take, uh, as honest as possible, and I'm gonna tell you if I liked it, if I loved it, or if, if it's passed for me. But, you know, all in all, I'm really intrigued because I tried Liz Augustine Treats from Daniel Barros, and I know he's really talented. Now, the Barista line is a line that was introduced in 2016, so just last year, I believe around August, you know, July, August, I wanna say. So this is revolving around drinks, you know, boozy drinks. Basically what he did is he combined the names. So I have a tobacco and cognac fragrance, which is called Tabac Cognac. I have a gin and incense, which is called Gin Senso. I have a Cure Mojito, which is basically a leather mojito fragrance. And I have uh, Yuzu Cello, which is a limoncello and Wuzu fragrance. So let's start with that one. So here's the presentation. All these bottles are 9 mLs, really cool, really cute. Has a little label in there. Now, um, I've actually, this one here has leaked on my package, so I really, I know exactly what this smells like. It's really, really nice. But I did wear it, you know, there's a little bit left. I actually got a little wearing of this, I'll be honest with you. This is basically a creamy sandalwood with a really nice citrus wuzu up top. Uh, very sparkly, very uh, bright and playful fragrance that I would love to wear. And it's a little bit grassy too. I'm gonna be definitely, you know, rocking this in spring and summertime, but not for today. It's really cold here in the East Coast. You know, we're in the 30s, we're getting some snows, it's really windy and rainy. So this is definitely not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be rocking this today. So this is Cure Mojito, again, 9 ml. This is the sprayer, let me show you what it looks like. Not bad. Okay, so Cure Mojito is really, really nice. You're gonna get that mojito introduction, that mint, um, lime kind of introduction with the rum. But this is much more of a leather fragrance. It's, very, it's almost enamelic than really uh, citric. Very, very enamelic. Did a great job on it, but this is one that you can actually wear all year round. It's not that much of a mojito kind of vibe that you can actually just wear it in, one, in warmer days of the year. This is definitely one that you could wear as a signature it's, it's 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 got enough depth with the with the leather here that to me it's it's more of a leather fragrance than a citrus one which is really impressive you did a really good job uh, on the first impression type you know it's going to be leather almost enamelic kind of leather which i really like for the uh, colder days uh, i would actually even layer this because the leather is very prominent on this one next up we have Jincenso. now Jincenso is really cool to dry down it's very reminiscent of Luministe from Frappon. Uh, this is very aromatic. It's got a really nice cooling effect when you first spray it on uh, with the geranium here. But it's also a little bit resinous and it's got a, an amazing note of ginger here. Uh, and you, you do get that ginger kind of effect, you know, with a gin, uh, almost like a gin and tonic drink. And I'm telling you, um, it's very close when it gets to the heart and to the dry down to Luministe from Frappon. This is really, really nice. It's another one that I'm gonna be really rocking uh, when it comes to the uh, spring and summer days. Really, really nice. 
great job on this one. And again, there were 15 compositions in this, in this, you know, this barista line, and I wish I had gotten the one that's supposed to be a coffee-based one. I think it's called uh, Tonka Chino, which is Tonka and the Cappuccino coffee note. I heard amazing things about that one. I did not get that one, but I did get Tabac Cognac, which I love boozy tobacco fragrances, so I'm really excited to try this one. All right, so let me give myself a blast on my hand. And I kind of left, you know, the best for last just because I knew this was a tobacco boozy scent from what I've heard. So I really want this to be my scent of the day because it's really cold out. Beautiful, stellar introduction. Now, I kid you not, from the get-go, the introduction here is worth a million bucks. He did a great job. You know, to me, it's a creamier, boozy, creamier though, version of um, Raja Dove's Creation E or Enigma. Uh, I told you guys in the past that I've smelled other fragrances that reminded me of that fragrance in particular, Dua Fragrances and Evening with the Mobster. This one here, again, has that same kind of boozy tobacco cognac introduction that's very rem reminiscent of Raja Dove's Enigma or Creation-y. I don't know how tobacco cognac's going to evolve or trans transition. That's why I'm going to wear this as my scent of the day and then come back and give you guys a full-fledged review on this and how it developed and how it transitioned and what I got out of this fragrance. But so far, just from the introduction, it's, it's a winner in my book. Really nice. Again, let me get myself a couple blasts. Let me get out of here because it's getting late. I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm going to come back here tonight, meet you at my chessboard to dissect this baby and tell you exactly what I got out of it. So let me do a couple sprays. This is really, really nice and strong. Um, again, tobacco. Cognac, Tabac Cognac, beautiful introduction. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna get out of it throughout the day. I'm gonna take this with me in case I need to reapply, but it's really pushing right now. I'm thinking this is going to last at least a work day. So I'll see you guys later at my chessboard. Talk to you soon, ciao. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Max Forte back again to give you a full rundown of what I've got out of Tabac Cognac. So this is an EDP concentration. Actually pretty powerful stuff. I got a good six to seven hours, uh, almost a day's work, which is really not bad for an EDP. And uh, it projected for a good hour and a half, two hours, and then it got really close to the skin. Again, it's not really uh, that potent in comparison to other fragrances that did smell like this, like An Evening with the Mobster from Dua Fragrances or Raja Dove's. Uh, creation -y or Enigma, which um, that one I got, you know, 12 plus hours, a Dua uh, offering I got 10 plus, uh, you know, these are all beast, beastly, you know, really strong and pungent uh, tobacco and cognac fragrance, but tobacco cognac is really a great option as well. It did do a very good job. This is an aromatic spicy fragrance. Uh, as far as the notes are concerned, uh, you're going to have cognac, dried fruits, cardamom, some bergamot in here. But you know, the and also the, the mid's gonna be a little floral, but really the main players here are the, the cognac, the, maybe some dried fruits. I did get some of that. Um, tobacco plays a really strong role, and sandalwood as well. This was really creamy uh, in comparison to the other two uh, mentioned fragrances that smell like this. All in all, really great solid release from Daniel Barrows. I'm really, you know, excited. Uh, with this new barista line. I, I hope that in the future he offers these uh, fragrances in bigger, you know, flasks, maybe 50 ml or even 100 ml or 60 ml for that matter because these are really good. And uh, this is uh, basically a 9 ml. I do believe he offers them in a 30 ml if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I will have links down in the description box if you guys want to check out his website and see what's up. You know, feel free to do that. Again, there's no codes or anything like that. Just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on these offerings that I've gotten. This was my scent of the day. You guys know how I do it. Again, tobacco cognacs, really, really solid. I think my favorite from what I've smelt. I still want to try the Tonka. Tonka Chino one, which I think I will be very happy because I, I do love coffee as well. So that's it for me. You know, please drop in the comment section below. Also, have you tried any of the Barista line? Have you tried anything from Daniel Barros at all? You know, let me know in the comment section below. Again, this was Max Forte with another Senate of the Day first impression type of thing. I will talk to you guys soon.